Good day guys, Bruce here. Well I'm just taking a little bit of time in the shop to play around with my air compressors and uh, I've done a couple of things. The first thing I've done is on the bottom of this air compressor you can see I've added a quarter turn valve. Can you see that? So that you don't have to twirl that little tiny thing with the compressor an inch from the ground. You just push it down and it drains. And the second thing I've done is I've added a T right here. So the pop valve is now, you have to have this pop valve. The pop valve is now here, it was sticking this way. And I've added this T with an M fitting. And now I've connected the two tanks together. Ahead of the air regulators. But I've got a shut off here so that when you disconnect them you don't have air blowing all over the place. And uh, now what's happening is that you can, when you use the air, I have this bigger unit taking the load. So it turns on first and shuts off last when I've got the two tanks together using a lot of air. Just show you that now. I'm using the hose from the other tank. I'm just going to bleed off some air and we'll see how it goes. Now I'll shut the air off. And this, this little one should shut off first. Okay, the little one shut off. And the big one shut off. So that means the big one's taking all of the load, but this one's helping out. Uh, so now what I've got is I've got an extra 10 gallons of storage, and I've got an extra 4.2 CFMs, which is cubic feet per minute, at 90 pounds. So that's pretty cool. So that's like 30% more air uh, without having to spend 1500 bucks on a big system. I know this can be dangerous. You have to really think about what you're doing. But uh, for me it'll work. And I know you, some of you guys out there love my mad scientist stuff. So here's one more. Thanks Tubes. <laughs>